Hey, Daniel Palusic with the Cloud Provider Engineering Team again. Uh, part two, we're gonna talk about networking, what's new in vCloud Director 9.5. Uh, we've introduced the concept of cross VDC networking. So when we talk about cross VDC networking, this is using uh, the cross vCenter capability from NSX that's built into vCenters. One of the really uh, unique characteristics of uh, cross VDC networking is the ability for the tenant to work with a provider and instantiate their own L2 span between multiple data centers, between the same, uh, same physical data center, but provide L2 networking between organization VDC. So taking these virtual resources that I may have at let's say Atlanta, my Phoenix site, and I wanna add in this L2 network, 192.168.100.0/24, but this is all orchestrated through vCloud Director, uh, through the tenant UI. Uh, the beauty of this is I can actually specify uh, from uh, this setup who my active set site is or a standby site, set my local egress configuration if I want to have active-active, how that traffic actually egresses out uh, from each of the org VDCs. Under the covers, vCloud Director is actually taking care of setting up the UDLR, uh, all of the universal context switching, and so forth, and making sure that we can have adjacency between the two different sites and manage this in a self-service functionality on that. So moving on, uh, the next feature we introduced in 9.5 is NSXT networking. So this is our first iteration inside of uh, T and supporting it side by side with V. So this is not an all or no nothing proposition, meaning that I have to switch from V to T immediately. I can run this side by side, so I can have a PVDC inside of um, my vCloud director that has vCenter and NSXV. And this is providing resources out to users. And then I can also have a PVDC that's mounted to maybe just an NSXT function. Maybe we have a vCenter under the covers here and is also providing resources here all within the same vCloud director uh, solution and interface here. Uh, last but not least, IPv6 support. So uh, this has definitely been something that uh, a lot of providers have been asking for. We can do IP address management for org VDC networks, external networks, and virtual machines. Next up, I'll talk about manageability and some of the new functionality in 9.5. Thanks.